the victims and the Shipanda Simon tells NBC News that they reported threats and blackmailing by the suspect to the police but with no real assistance. They refer us to serious crime, the one in town. It's where we went. We talked to a lady. Uh, she talked to a lady because I told her to go free her heart. She must tell her everything. Maybe she can't talk in front of me. I'm her aunt. So she went to talk with that lady. I asked her, what did you say? She said, all those things. I don't know now if she said everything that she wanted. But then from there, that lady said they can, they can open a case because she stays in Rocky Crest. We have to go and make a case in Chomuse. She says the relationship between Alina and her ex-boyfriend started three years ago, but things turned sour over this past year. Nampol's Deputy Commissioner Edwin Kangwachivi says there are a number of issues involved. There was issues of blackmailing. There were issues of reluctance or refusal to press charges. Until finally, the police on the, the day before the massacre or the murder or the, uh, or the two murders, the police insisted that charges be laid. He said Nampol's Inspector General, Sebastian De Tunga, has assembled a team of senior officers to conduct a thorough investigation and determine whether any of the officers who dealt with the matter acted negligently.